is now we have to augment the grammar past so is dash two dot is comma dollar okay as this starting symbol you know will dollar will follow definitely the dollar will be look ahead right then for this production rule also dollar will become the look ahead next uh, you have to add and you can see capital c came okay so rules for capital c so dot small um, sorry uh, which is small c basically okay it is small c capital c look ahead will become you can see here the uh, capital c is i will write uh, by doing overwriting okay so that you can understand is that the capital c okay so first of capital c and dollar so first of capital c uh, gives you um, small c and d okay so these two are the look ahead for this another production rule we have to add that is starting uh, headed by c it is dot d look ahead will be c or d they come from first of capital c comma the look ahead dollar okay which is nothing but small c and d then after dot we are finding here capital s so for this s we will have a move or transition it will be something like s dash to s dot look ahead will be same that is the dollar okay close this item set okay you can show this uh, dollar to dollar to exit okay then you can see capital c is coming after dot so capital c is after dot what will happen we will get s to capital c dot another capital c right comma dollar okay now as after dot we got a capital c okay so this was i1 okay then this will be i2 so we have to add production rule headed by capital c okay so one production rule headed by capital c is small c capital c and look ahead will be first of you know after c there here there is nothing so dollar so look ahead will remain dollar here and another production rule is there that is capital c to mm, dot d and look ahead will remain dollar here okay so this is the item set two okay next after dot we can see this small c is there so we have to have another transition for this small c which will give us capital c to small c dot capital c comma c or d as look ahead as it is you know taken from the i0 okay then after dot capital c came so for this capital c we have to add production rules which are headed by capital c so capital c to dot small c capital c comma the same look ahead will be carry forward that is c and d because uh, you know this after this capital c there is no other uh, symbol so this same look ahead it will get okay then capital c to dot d the same look ahead c and d will come okay so it will give us item set we name it as i3 okay then after dot d we can see here so for d we will have a 
move here so it will give us capital c to sorry d dot and look ahead will be c or d and no nothing else to add here so we can name this as i pull clear now come to i1 there is uh, no more production possible or uh, no more movement possible from there from i2 if you see after this dot one capital c is there right so we can do this for this capital c capital c we can do s to capital c capital c dot comma dollar so this rule reduces a and we don't need to add anything here so i name this i5 okay then from here you can see after dot small c is there okay now if you do anything with the small c if you do things with the small c it will give um, capital c to small c dot capital c comma capital c comma dollar okay so as after dot capital c came so we have to add capital c to dot small c capital c comma dollar dollar will written here and capital c to dot d comma dollar okay so i name this i6 okay next uh, from i2 if you see after dot the d is there okay so this was from for small c this is for d it will give us capital c to d dot comma dollar and you know you can see here something noticeable that here c to d dot this production is reduced in say i7 and in i4 if you see and if you see this in i4 there also c to d dot this production rule is reduced but we, i have written them separately because their look aheads are separate different okay so this is what happens in lr1 parsing okay if it is a slr or ll0 then these two should have been merged but here we are not merging them okay straight forward but we are keeping them them different from each other okay so we get i7 here okay so from i2 there is no movement possible anymore so from i3 if we see from i3 you can see here after this dot capital c is coming so for this capital c we will take the move it will give us capital c to small c capital c dot comma c or d nothing need to be added here right nothing is needed to be added it is going to be i8 all right then for small c if you do for this you know one small c is coming here after dot if you do it will have a self loop for small c okay and for d if you do it will go to i4 okay so it is down then you will see for my five not possible if you go to i6 you can see here that after dot capital c is there okay so for this capital c we can have a move it will give us capital c to small c capital c dot look ahead is dollar nothing is needed to be added so i name it as i9 okay and for small c here you can see after dot small c is there it will be a self loop okay so that is done
and for many other place uh, anything is possible yes after dot d is there so it will produce this reduction for small d so it is done okay so all item sets uh, we have created here next we have to generate parse table for this particular gram okay so how we will generate the parse table <coughs> you can see here the you know fresh one 